video will teach you the most popular version of poker played all over the world, Texas Hold'em. The objective of the game? To win your opponent's chips. A table can consist of anywhere between 2 to 10 players. For this video let's give this table 6 players. One player needs to be the dealer. In our example it's going to be player number 1. Most of the time you'll see a dealer button next to the dealer player. A poker dealer distributes cards to players and manages the action at a poker table. To the left of the dealer, we will always find the small and big blind. The purpose of these blind bets is to create the starting pot. The players in spaces 2 and 3 will be required to put money into the pot before they even see what cards they're given. After that, every player is given two cards face down clockwise of the dealer. Each player can only look at his own cards. After the cards have been dealt and the small and big blinds put on the table, the player to the left of the big blind is first to act. Our example is going to be player number 4. The first round of betting ensues. There are three potential moves available to each player here. Players can either call, which means that they will put out an amount of chips into the pot equal to the bet of the previous player. They can alternately raise and put in an amount of chips that is bigger than the previous bet, or they can fold. They can give away their cards and their involvement in the current hand. Let's see what everyone does here. Player 4 raises. Player 5 calls. Player 6 calls. Player 1 calls. Player 2 calls. And player 3 calls. Notice that players 2 and 3 put chips in again even though they've already put out their blind bets before. All the chips are gathered together to create the pot. The pot is the sum of money that players bet during a single hand, and after each hand the pot goes to the player with the best card combination at showdown, or alternately the player who got all the other players to fold. After everyone in this round makes a move, three cards will appear on the table. All cards that are on the table facing up are called the community cards. In this situation, the first three community cards are called the flop. Once there is a flop on the table, another round of betting begins. The first player to act is the first active player on the left of the dealer. And an active player means a player who chose to fold his cards in one of the previous betting rounds. Since it's a new round and there's no previous bet, different actions are available for each player here. He can either put out a bet himself, fold his cards and end his involvement in this round, or simply wait and see what other players do in this round by checking. You can only check if nobody's put out a bet before you. If you do choose to check and someone after you bets, then the play will continue around the table before coming back to you at which point you can either fold, call or raise. Let's see an example of that. Starting with player 2, he checks, player 3 checks, player 4 checks, player 5 puts out a bet, player 6 folds his cards, and the rest of the players all call to match player 5's bet. After this round of betting we have a fourth community card placed on the table, creating what we call the turn. Another betting round on the turn ensues, and the same betting rules apply. Finally there's a fifth community card placed on the table, and this creates the river. This is the final round of betting, and the same rules apply. After the final round of betting, we have a showdown. Everyone turns their cards face up, and we determine who has the best five card hand. Everyone has two whole cards and has to combine those two cards with the five community cards on the table to create the best possible hand. You're basically creating the best five card combination out of seven cards. The player with the best card combination wins the pot. After the showdown, the next hand starts. The dealer is now the person on the left of the previous dealer and the small and big blinds move one position clockwise as well. Now you're probably wondering what are the best possible card combinations during the showdown? Well, here's a hand ranking, starting with the weakest combination. One pair. This happens when you have one pair of the same rank. Two pair. You have two pairs of the same rank. Three of a kind. You have three cards of the same rank. Straight. Five running or consecutive cards make a straight. If two players have a straight, the one with the highest cards wins. A flush. It's a five cards of the same suit make a flush. The highest combination of cards wins. 
a full house. A full house is three of a kind and a pair combined into one five card hand. Four of a kind. Four cards of the same rank. Straight flush. The second strongest hand in poker is the straight flush. A straight flush is made up of five running or consecutive cards all of the same suit. And then finally we have the Royal Flush, and this is the best possible hand in poker. It consists of a 10, a Jack, a Queen, a King, and an Ace, all of the same suit. 